What's going on guys, it's Denzel, AKA Images by Zell. And today I'm gonna to be breaking down how to do the zoom effect. You see this a lot in music videos, maybe action films, but it's a really fun effect and super simple and easy to do inside of DaVinci Resolve. You would come over to uh, open effects, type transform, and it's I pull, pulling up, grab it, drop it into your adjustment clip. You can also just drop this directly on your clip. I just like to set it up so that way I can reuse that clip, that same animation throughout without having to redo it every time. That's why I use adjustment clips. But the reason why I say to use a transform, um, if you want to do a faster zoom, is because, I mean, you can even do this if you're doing the slower zoom like I did, but um, you can control uh, motion blur. So let me come over, where is it? Uh, advanced options. Where is, okay, here we go, animation. So yeah, motion blur. So you can control how intense you want your motion blur to be, but I'm just gonna do a quick little push in. So let's just say I want I want this push in to be like five frames. I don't want it to be that long. One, two, three, four, five clicks. So this is gonna be like a quick, like zoom in on something. And this would be a cool way to do a transition because you could zoom in and zoom out. But we're just gonna give it like a quick push. But we want it to look like um, it's like motion blur, like it's actually a camera doing it. Having motion blur just kind of is a good thing to have when you're doing videos. Just gives things a little bit more, uh, what's the word? I guess or organic feel to it. It doesn't feel so sharp and crisp, or it doesn't feel so mechanical. Uh, I guess is another word you can use. So very similar to what we were doing before. Uh, you have different options canvas pins and things like that but i'm going to do it with sliders i just prefer using the sliders so again same type of thing like we did before i'm going to set where i want the endpoint to be first i messed that up we need to zoom because x and y is a little bit different now but i mean it's different because positions first but you want to go to zoom and we're just going to zoom in right about let's just zoom in close because it'll be like kind of a, that'll be like kind of a cool effect to have um in the music video like a quick push in you know if you want to have some cool like camera animation and things like that so i'm going to set that to the end and then we're going to go back to the beginning and do the same thing i showed you before double clicking and this is what that looks like So the only thing I, th I just thought about, well, no, that's fine. I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. So they'll do that. Boom. So it's kind of cool. Like, oh, dang, dang. That, that was kind of cool. Let me uh, pull some of this back so you can see a little bit better what's happening. We're going to go to half. doesn't look as crappy. So you see that little, it's like, oh, that was cool. You know, you can see that in the music video, cool little punches and stuff like that, so, which is fine but there's no motion blur it's like all very static in the sense of like i'm starting here i'm going here and it's pretty mechanical there's no blur and usually you know you move your hand like this and you're looking at it you're not seeing you're seeing motion so you know it's not like it's this crisp oh how i'm looking at it right now i'm seeing every finger everything super smooth go from here to here but when you do it fast, there's some type of quick motion. So it's like motion, it's creating motion blur, which, you know, it just helps things to feel more natural, more organic in your brain. You know, it just feels better. That's just the best way I know how to say it. It just feels better. And it's not as amateur looking. So you click on animation. Let's just crank the motion blur extreme. You can already see what it's doing. So the problem with this which is actually, no, it's not a problem because it knows, the program knows to cut it. So you don't have to, you could do this a different way. But if you use the transform tool, the program actually knows to stop the motion. It's not going to stay blurry is what I'm trying to get at. You don't have to animate the blur, which is a cool, cool thing. But you can see the lights, everything's like super extreme. So let's go back and watch it again. That just felt so much better. You're just like, oh, that felt crispy. I ain't going to lie, that felt mad crispy. <laughs> It's not crispy because we took we put we put we added blur to it, but it feels crispy if you know what I mean. So, ah, I'm about to use that in the video now. But like for music videos, man, that stuff will look mad though. 
we're gonna go back to animation I'm gonna take the motion blur back off and you see that I mean that difference the blurs there so we're gonna play it it's, you know it's cool but it's just something about that having that whew, add a nice sound effect on that that's that movie making magic you know the stuff that just what's the word I think I'm, I'm looking for is it just settles you into it it just makes it believable it sells it you know it just makes it more um, immersive and makes it believable this video is only one part of a larger video I did where I go into how to do camera motion and I give you three different ways of doing it and how to differentiate resolve so if you want to see that video click the link in the description below if you found this video helpful please leave a like and be sure to subscribe if you want to see even more DaVinci Resolve related content like this until next time Peace.